people, this is the science show, it's not magic, it's science. I am the host, this is my assistant Kiwi, and I am Royal. We are going to show you how simple circuits work. Kiwi, take it away. What you need to make a simple circuit is some wire, a light bulb, a light bulb holder, and a battery, and a battery holder. Alright, why don't you guys show them what a closed circuit looks like. Ta da This is what it looks like. Okay, and what does an open circuit look like? This okay. is what it looks like. Carrie, can you explain to us how the energy flows in a closed circuit? In a closed circuit, it starts from the battery, through the wire, through this wire, the, to the lamp holder, mm -hmm. and to the light bulb, which makes it light up. And then it goes from the light holder, through this wire, to the battery again. Outstanding. Okay. Royal, what is a closed circuit? What is a closed circuit like? What is it similar to? Um, a closed circuit? Uh, this is like a race track. It's where all the race cars go around and around. Except, except this is a battery, battery holder, wires, lamp holder, and a light bulb. Okay. Instead of a race track, fans, and race cars. Okay. So what you're saying is, is... The closed circuit is like a racetrack. When the racetrack is completely functional and it's, there's no opens in it, there's no problems with it, the race cars can go around just like all the electrons can go around this circuit. But when you open up the circuit, it's like a piece of the racetrack was missing. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, Carrie, what are we going to show? What's one of the things we're going to show this people at home today? We're going to show you what... Conductors. What conductors and insulators and are. insulators are. All right. Why don't you guys, Carrie? Why don't you go ahead and explain to us one at a time. Show us the material you have and demonstrate for us whether it's a conductor or an insulator. Um, first, tell us what does a conductor do. Conductor is conductor. Energy means energy can flow through the material. It means electricity can pass through it, okay? That's and Royal, right. what is an insulator? An insulator is a thing that electricity cannot go through, like my hand. Okay, very good. All right, and that's I'm, a good demonstration. Okay, Carrie, why don't you go ahead and tell us, tell us what the material is you're going to test, and then test it and tell us whether it's a conductor or an insulator, and you can make a pile here of conductors and insulators. I have a copper screw, mm -hmm. a bronze bearing, bronze bearing, and a brass cotter pin. Cotter pin. Okay, why don't you First, test? First, I'm going to do the copper screw, and this would be a conductor because energy can pass through it. Okay. I'll go ahead and put it over here in a pile for you. And now I'm going to do the bronze bearing. Bearing. This is a conductor tube because energy can pass through it. Okay. Now I'm going to do the brass cotter pin. Brass cotter pin. This is also a conductor. A conductor because energy can pass through it too. Okay. Um, Roy, why don't you go ahead and test your three items? Alright. This is the aluminum cotter pin. This is a aluminum cotter pin. Okay, test it for us. And just like we showed you. Just like what you did. This is a conductor because look at the light. You see it? Okay. Here. Is it on? You try yes it is. Very good. You tried the zinc screw. Well, let's try the zinc screw. It also works as well. Okay, and let everybody know that you're not touching the wires together. You're touching, you guys both were touching and are touching the wires to the object. And no, we were not touching the wires. Because this is what, because this is what It's Not Magic and Science is all about. Now, let's look at this. Look closely. I'm not touching the wires and look at the light. So that means the this is a steel washer. That means the steel washer is this, a this steel. This is a steel washer and it's a conductor. Okay. All right. What is what do you got? What do all these 
six items here have in common? They are all a type of metal. All types of metal. So metal is a good conductor. Metals are good conductors. Metal. All types of metal are good conductors. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and test this glass, Royal? Now let's test this glass if there if it's the same thing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. So what does that mean? It's a insulator. Okay, good. We'll make a new pile. So we've got insulators here. Okay. Why don't you test the plastic cup? It's also a insulator as well. How do you know that? Because, because the plastic cup does not let electricity flow to the other wire. Okay. Now First, try to need clothespin. Clothespin. First, I'm going to try the wood. And now I'm going okay, what does that mean when you tried the wood? The light didn't come on. So the yeah. wood is a... Insulator. Okay. But there is metal on this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, well, the lights come on. So what does that mean, Royal? The metal... So this clothespin is a conductor and insulator. The metal on it is a conductor while the rest of it is an insulator. Okay, so let's put... Let's make... We'll put that one in the middle because it's kind of both. All right, Carrie, and why don't you show us what you're testing? First, I'm going to test this paper tissue. tissue. The light is not coming on. So that, that means, means it is a insulator. Okay. All right, so paper is an insulator. Now I'm going to try a piece of cardboard. Which is like a different type of paper. Is a different type of paper. It's still nothing. It is also an insulator. Okay. Now I'm going to try this plastic clip. Still nothing. It is also an insulator. Okay, so in review, if something is paper, glass, plastic or wood, it is a insulator. Okay. But if it's metal, it is a conductor. Okay. Why don't you guys carefully put your circuits on the chair over there and get your magnets. And we can show the people at home what types of metal are what kind of what types of metal attract and what types of metal repel. And Carrie, why don't you go ahead and start? Okay, first I'm going to use the copper screw. And I'm using the top of the magnet because in our previous show we proved that the end of the magnets are stronger. Because the ends of the magnets are also called the... The ends of the magnets are also called the poles. Very good. And... So, the copper... The copper screw is... Attractive. Attractive. So it attracts. Let's make a pile of attract. Attract. And we'll see if there's any that don't attract or repel. Now I'm going to try the brass... Cotter pin. Cotter pin. And I'm also using the end. Or the pole. Or the pole. And this does not attract, it repels. Oh. Interesting. So, just because it conducts doesn't necessarily mean it will attract. Okay. Now, what do you have there? Now I'm going to use the bronze bearing. Bear. Still using the pole. And this repels. It does not retract. Attract. Okay. All right, well, why don't you test your items? What do you want to test first? First, I'm going to test the zinc screw. It is attractive. Attractive, okay, because it sticks to it. All right. Because it sticks to it. Let's put that over here with the copper screw. Now, let's screw. try the steel washer. The same thing. Okay, so it also attracts. We'll put it over there. And now it is time for the aluminator. Aluminum? Aluminum. Cotter pin. Cotter pin. Nothing. So 
What does that mean? It is not attractive. Or it... Or pills. Or pills, okay. Now, you tested the clothespin earlier. What, 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 what does that metal do? You want to test that for everyone around? Repels. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. All the metals were conductors, but are all the metals, do all the metals attract? Nope. So if we wanted to sum up this for the people at home, if they're just trying to, if other kids are trying to learn about electricity and trying to learn about magnetism, are all, do all metals attract? No. No, nope. but all metals are conductors. Conductors because they allow electricity to pass. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's our show for today. Anything you want to say? It's not. Goodbye, people. And remember, it's not magic, it's science.